Hello and welcome. My name is Van. In today's tutorial, I'm going to rebut a common saying that all roads lead to Rome when solving math questions. I will beg to differ because in certain questions, there is clearly a superior method. And over the years, I've seen the trend in how the marks the, uh, are awarded for that kind of question and clearly teachers are looking out for that particular preferred method all right let's take a look at this questions uh, adapted from 2014 says ij st nicholas primary 6 essay 1 paper 1 question 27 and this could have been a p5 question too so at this point of time if you are a p5 student i would like you to learn this method too because a lot of habits, I would say, you shouldn't wait, uh, especially good habits. You shouldn't wait till P6 to learn it. If you can, you can even learn it at P4. My girl, she's from neighborhood school. She, her teachers, uh, rather her teacher, taught her how to use it in P4. I think even as early as P3. So if you are P5, get, get to know this method because we are no longer looking at guess and check for this kind of particular question, especially when and this um, question, it is a bit tricky. Two marks were deducted for each wrong answer. And the very fact that it's only a two marks question. So I wouldn't suggest guess and check. Let's take a look at this question. Kelly took part in a quiz which she had to answer. 30 questions. Five marks were awarded for each correct answer and two marks were deducted for each wrong answer. Kelly scored a total of 94 marks for the quiz. How many mistakes did she make? This is a very similar question to those of uh, the number of chicken and cows on a farm. Then they tell you how many uh, legs there were and ask you to find how many chickens, for example, there were in a farm, something like that. So P3, P4 students are very familiar with this method, which is the guess and check. So you will draw a very nice table to show, okay, for example, the first one, number of correct answer, then was a subtotal, then it was a number of mistake and a subtotal, and then we have the grand total. So happily, student will plug in all the numbers, all the figures into this. Like, we always start off with some, somewhere in the middle, the miss 15, out of the miss 30 divided by 2, 15. So 15, okay, number of correct answer, and then the total, then number of mistake, and then blah, blah, blah. Is this matter correct? Let's look at this, it's wrong, why? Because number of mistakes is 15, but the subtotal will not be 30. Rather, it is 15 multiplied by negative 2. Because she, two marks were deducted for each wrong answer. Oh, you might be scratching your head. Why is teacher talking about? Because I don't know what's the meaning of negative. Yeah, of course, this is a secondary one uh, concept. <laughs> you will only be introduced to negative number when you are in secondary school. So at this point in time, you have no capability to solve this using the normal guess and check method. You see that? So the grand total is not um, 105. Okay? So what should it be? That's what I said just now. We are supposed to use this method called the make a supposition method. Alright? And this is actually a four step method. Efficient, accurate, yeah? The less time you make, the more time you have for checking. So, let's take a look at this question again. Before we proceed to this four-step method, let's uh, in understand the certain um, concept here because, as what I said just now, the two marks deducted were actually uh, is actually very tricky. <laughs> a lot of students will make the same mistake. Will take happily take five minus two. No. Let's take an example. For example, Kelly has or had thus far scored 10 points, 10 marks. So if the next question she scored was correct, she will move on to 15 plus 5, right? But if the next question she scored was wrong, she would have 2 marks deducted. So she will move to 8. Correct? 
what happens here is that you see the difference between a correct answer here, 15, and an incorrect one, 8, is a difference of 15 minus 8. Or using the numbers from the question, because 15 and 8 is my example, okay? But using the, quest, the numbers, the figures from the question itself is actually 5. Okay, 5 is going to the right, but 2 is going to the left. So it's in opposite direction. So the distance apart is actually 5 plus 2. I ignore this so-called minus, <laughs> the negative thing here. Alright, so the difference between these two is actually 5 from here to here plus 2, which is 7. Okay, so I'm going to show you how am I going to use this four step method to solve this kutu mark question. So don't spend too much time on it. So the first step is let's suppose, okay, since this question is asking for how many mistakes she made, so we suppose that she answered all questions correctly. So she would have scored a total of 30 times 5, which is 150. Okay, this is where she, she would be. But of course, we know that she did not score all the questions uh, correctly because her actual points is only 94. Right, so that's the gap of 56. How do I get 56? It's actually 150 minus 94, which is 56. I need to close the gap. I need to move this point. All right, two, back to here. Okay, so how do I do it? From just now, the example we have really find out one truth is that the difference between a correct answer and a wrong one is five plus two, which is equal to seven. So now, imagining that you she's wrong, she, so you take out one correct answer and put in a wrong answer, what do we have? The total dropped by 7. So you have 143. Remember, my ending point should be 94. So I do another one, it drops further by 7 to 135. Stop! Are you going to continue with that? No! This is just for your illustration, for your understanding, because I'm not asking you to do that. By P6, P5, uh, P5, P6, or even P4, or even P3, <laughs> You should know that in order to close to, to close the gap of 56, you have a total of 56. How many groups of 7 do you need to make up 56? How many groups of 7? So, to make up 56, 56 divided by 7 will give you 8. So, 8 mistakes make your drop. They make you drop from 150 all the way to 94, which is the actual one. Of course, since this is a just a four steps so you could have a bit of time to check your work substitute your answer back to the question and see whether did you get all um, all the figures correct as that of the question easy as it is thank you hope the background noises is not too uh, visible okay have a nice day learning see you